We're recapping UFC 276, Israel Desanya versus Jared Cannonier. And we had a lovely 4th of July weekend. It's good to be back. This card was absolutely amazing. It was spectacular. There were some controversial things that happened, but we're going to get right into it. Izzy versus Jared. Fight a little bit mediocre and went the full five rounds. We got to see a nice little kickboxing match. I really thought that Jared would try to bring him to the ground and really explode with his ground and pound. But Izzy is very elusive. Very hard to get a hold of. As you can see, the only person who had really kept him on the ground was Jan Blachowicz when he went up to 205. So this fight was really spectacular to see Izzy go five rounds. The fans did not appreciate it because they felt it was a very like soft performance. But for me, the, maybe the fight was a little bit mediocre. But the entrance with the Undertaker? Guys, are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this guy. The Undertaker. Oh my God, the dead man has arrived. <laughs> the 30 year olds, millennials out there, like everyone felt it in their seat. Everyone loved to him to see to come out to The Undertaker. His like entryway is just spectacular. So for me, it was a W. I thought that was fucking insane. Like it just built up to that moment. And I just, I'm a huge fan, so. Fuck the fans. That was great. He went five rounds. He has his belt. That fight really didn't matter regardless. It would be nice if he would have knocked out Cannoneer. It would have just been just icing on the cake for the night. But overall, it was very good. He's going to fight. We already know his next fight. So we're going to get to that soon. As for the other co-main event, Volkanovski versus Holloway. Trilogy. We rarely get trilogies in the UFC. So, uh, guys... That is obviously a highlight in itself. A trilogy, it's usually super rare. People usually rarely call for it in any type of fighting sport. But let's give it the benefit of the doubt. These guys gave us literally five rounds times five, 25 rounds, which was insane between the both of them. But Volkanovski is an absolute killer. His boxing that night was absolutely incredible. I loved it. You would think he was a pro boxer. He literally made the best boxer in MMA look like a scrub. Max could not get near him. He was slipping, shoulder rolling, hitting him with some bombs. Nice leg kicks, the movement. He came for five rounds like no problem. Didn't even look winded, not even phased, barely even scratched came out just three times max is done volkanovsky is moving on to bigger and better he has nothing to prove in the featherweight division the rest of the guys can just have to kind of figure it out he's almost in the same position that conor mcgregor was in the featherweight division he is just cleared the featherweight division out and now he's looking to move up to lightweight and fight possibly Charles Oliveira. Or if not Charles Oliveira. If you say that fight with Islam. Which should happen. That comes to fruition. He fights the winner of that. And I think that's a big sell. I think for his career. He's already done with the featherweight division. I mean. He can fight Josh Emmett. They can just put people in front of him. But overall. Him and Izzy. They have cleaned out their division. There's a few fights they're still going to be able to make, but overall, guys, they're from the same camp. They both fight under head coach Eugene Berman, City Kickboxing in Australia. Phenomenal gym. Keep a lookout on all their guys. They have also another guy, Kai Kai France, super stud. Also keep an eye on him in the flyweight division.
the next one. Sean Strickland versus Alex Piera. That fight <laughs> was absolutely incredible. A lot of people, Sean Strickland, he's a big shit talker. You don't want this guy as a champion. Do something about it. You don't want this guy as a champion. Do something about it then. Bro, Do something about it. Bro, I will walk outside with you right now. Right now, you want to get my number? Step. Come on, on. Bro, I will walk. Right now, I'll smack you on your ass. You do. Listen, bro, you're going to break your fucking nail. Calm down. I'll break your face. I'll break your face. I'll break my nail in your face. Man, Alex, get that. Hey, man, you better focus on your guy. He's going to fuck you up, too. Yeah, no way. He slept your ass. And for the guy Alex Piera, this guy's like made out of granite, you know, to come out and literally knock Sean Strickland out from the stand up is really impressive. Sean Strickland was trying to push the pace. He was trying to like overwhelm Piera, but the world class kickboxer that Piera is was honestly no match for Sean Strickland. He finished that night went back to the locker room, humbled himself, came back out, and he watched the Izzy fight. So you already know, Israel Desanya has unfinished business to do with Alex Piera. These two have to meet in the octagon and settle it out. This fight is huge. This is the story the fans are dying for. These guys finally get to get locked in a cage in a ring whatever and do it again oh my god I'm dehydrated even thinking about how sick that fight's gonna be those two is gonna be an absolute bar burner it will be an insane kickboxing match in an MMA ring with MMA rules so absolutely anything can happen they can possibly wrestle. This fight can go anywhere. Four ounce gloves, the champ versus the kickboxing champ who knocked out Adesanya in his other career. So this fight is super key. Between them, Sean Strickland and Pieta, it was performance of the night. 50 G's, beautiful. They earned it. But let's not forget our Hall of Famer, Robbie Ruthless Lawler versus Brian Barberina. That shit was sick. Everybody loved it. I honestly, deep down, thought Robbie was going to take him out. I thought he was literally going to knock out Barberina. But Barberina was throwing these little chip jabs with the slick head movement and those dirty elbows. Those elbows, like, if you were watching that fight closely, like, he was in the pocket with a, with, a, with a murderer. Like Robbie Lawler doesn't think. He brawls. He comes in. He's trying to knock you out. And for Barbarina, a person who doesn't like to spar a lot, he's taken a lot of damage in his career. He looked better than ever. He's, to me, never looked as good as he did like he did against Robbie. That performance was insane. It was fight of the night for me just because of the amount of like these guys were throwing haymakers at each other so that fight one fight of the night which was absolutely incredible and i'm gonna clap for those two again because that was absolutely spectacular between them two shout out to brian barbarina for a sick fucking knockout standing knockout lola was absolutely out cold on that one and the last fight which was obviously the most disappointing fucking Sean man with the fucking eye poke like we were dying to watch a normal fight but honestly they can run that one back they can schedule the poodle head for something else but I'm really disappointed in O'Malley I wish that fight didn't go that way he's undefeated in his mind but he doesn't it's just, I don't know. They got to figure something out. He needs to finish a fight. He needs to get his name up. Right now, I don't even want to think about him. That was so disappointing. It was such a stale way to start. Such a beautiful card on UFC fight week. So it was international fight week. So that was insane. And overall, guys, this Saturday, it's going to be another sick fight. We have Rafael Faizev. He's fighting Dos Anjos. 
do not sleep on that card. That card is absolutely amazing. It's going to be spectacular. It's this Saturday. And don't forget, we will be back July 16th, Belmont, Notorious Radio, 718, MBS Radio. Myself will be there. We will be doing live interviews. We will be interacting with the crowd. I want you to remember to come out. It's going to be an awesome night in Long Island. It starts early, 11 a.m. Be there. 2 p.m. main event. We want to see you. Guys, always remember, follow us on YouTube, Notorious Radio 718, IG, all platforms. We got a TikTok going. We have a lot of fun projects coming along. Remember, we will see you soon. Peace and love. Mitch from Notorious Radio 718.